Hey pimps, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leap Welcome Amiibo. Today, we are just going to do a bit of running around, talking to characters, and we're also going to meet two NPCs that we have not met yet, leaving only one to be met after today. So, I'm pretty excited about it. We're hanging out in Groucho's house. Let's see what he's doing and what's going on. And as always, there will be a KK concert at the end of this episode, so... Um, alright. Sometimes you need to encourage- what? Alright, I don't know what you're talking about, but why don't you talk about something else? What's new? Ooh! Ooh! I didn't even send him the letter yet! It's still in my pocket! Oh my gosh! You heard right, yo! Finally, my long- <laughs> Dude, we bought it for you to begin with! Yeah, I'll give it to you. I was gonna give it to you for free, so I'll take it. Super cheapskate, but whatever. I don't care. I bought it for you, dude. You better change into it right now. If you don't change into it, I'm gonna be mad. No! Seriously? Why? There's that freaking drinking fountain, too. Hold on. Maybe if I leave and then come back, he'll have it on. Probably not, but I can dream, right? So yeah, we are gonna try and maybe catch um, a scorpion today as well. I saw one when I came out of my house earlier, but like I went up the wrong way and it just disappeared, so. What? He replaced the gyroid with it! Dang, gyroid's already gone for that genie vest though. Groucho, you're so cool. We just love ya so. Alright, so I'm going to be scanning an amiibo card really quickly. Now, this is not a character that we can get an RV for because there is no amiibo figure. It's just the card, so we can only see this character via Wisp rather than in an RV. So, alright, um, let's, whoops, let's check it out. Also, I hope you guys like my hairdo from yesterday when Lottie visited and I bought her hairstyle. It's pretty pimp, I'm not gonna lie. And it's always that color brown. It doesn't like change your hair color to be something, um, or to just be in that hairstyle. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Here she is. That's Katie. Cat, I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Cat. And you can barely see her because she's so freaking tiny. Give me something. Um, except gift. Got anything else? I'm gonna say got anything else, just to see what this does. Ah, I I guess that's what you say if you don't want a picture of them, because their default gift is a photo of themselves. So. I'm guessing that that's why that's even an option. It's just kind of worded weirdly to me. I don't really agree with the way it's worded. Katie's super cute. She wanders to your town and she asks you to take her to another town because she's trying to see the world. So she did that once while I was on vacation. I took her to Wee Pimp from Big Pimp and we were able to um, get the globe that is in my museum exhibit. I know I showed that off a long time ago, but yeah, that's what that is from. She sends you a gift as a thank you. Now we have an owl clock that we don't need, but I just really wanted to see what that did. I kind of wish that they gave you a piece of their furniture, but I guess it's randomized, maybe. So, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna go in here and meet another character that we have not yet met, but he's one of my faves. <laughs> it's Jack! Something's up with Jack, something's up with Jack. Oh, is this your hometown pumpkin? It looks great. Thanks for hosting. One of my favorite holidays in the world is Halloween and probably one of my, if not my favorite holiday on Animal Crossing is Halloween. So I absolutely love it. I love that Jack can now visit your town just out of free will and just be super cool with his pumpkin face. So, and I love his, his horror music his KK Dirge, so. Man, oh man, 
I love Jack so much. When he's not presiding over Halloween, Jack lives simply and frugally. His only two indulgences are his decked out camping van and candy. Well, that's pretty understandable. So his furniture includes the following. It's basically all of the furniture, um, or not furniture, but all of the pumpkins that you can only get on Halloween. Um, and then also a uh, spooky carpet and spooky wall, which is pretty awesome. I like that there's um, the candy dispenser and these patchwork clothing pieces as well. So you can't get any of the spooky furniture in here, um, but that's all right. Save that for the actual holiday. I think that was a good call on the developer's part to just make those furniture pieces part of the holiday as opposed to being like, hey, you can complete your collection anytime now. Have fun. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and just run around town a bit. Dig up this fossil here. I haven't done any of my dailies yet. I haven't dug up any fossils. I know we're getting close to being done with the fossil portion of the museum. Oh, hello! Yes, Phineas! What is the what? Okay, so he's got a badge for us. Um, what is it for, though, is my question. Seems you're... Oh, Because we gave Groucho that genie vest, we get a badge. Dang! I don't know that I have this badge on my other game. <laughs> that tree, though. Good summer... Samaritan badge, yes. I almost said samurai. That was not right, though. I stopped myself. I don't think we've gotten anything new in the police station either. Oh, I should have asked him for another badge. I doubt that we've earned more than just that one, but... Yeah, Copper, what the F? Why don't you have more? Tell me what's going on! What's new in town? Oh, Sahara's in town. Oh, okay, well... We might have to check her out then, because I had no idea she was here, in all honesty. But yeah, I figured we'd have a casual day, just kind of running around town. We're always on a mission to do something, always go into Main Street or, you know, do lately it's been like a mission every day. So I thought, hey, it's Saturday, we could just like chill out and not worry so hard about things. So, let's see if anybody's in the coffee shop though. See if we've got any guests in town. And anybody here? No. No one's here. Alright, bye Brewster. I'm not sticking around to talk to you because you're not very talkative anyway. Something I should probably point out is a long time ago I asked you guys, I was like, hey, do you want to see these mini games on the Wii and the 3DS in game? Like, do you want a video a week to be dedicated to that? I didn't end up doing that, obviously. You probably just gathered that on your own by now. But the review was pretty much half and half. A lot of people were like, okay, I don't need to see it more than once. And then a lot of people were like, oh, that'd be fun to see it like weekly, but I really don't mind. So it wasn't like everybody was like, yes, please show it again. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Ah, that's really, really nasty. A house centipede. <sighs> Certain things freak you out. You have a freaking flea on you as well, Pate. Ugh. Alright, eek, a flea on me? No way! Alright, well, maybe you should take that bubble bath. <laughs> oh, that was cute. She got her net out right away. Like, I will catch all the bugs. But anyway, yeah, for those games like the Desert Island Escape, um, because pretty much nobody needed to see Puzzle League again. It's pretty straightforward anyway. There's no real need to see it again once you've seen it once. But yeah, for, um, for the Desert Island Escape, it, it wasn't like people were dying to see it again. It would just be kind of entertaining. So I didn't bother with it. Um, and you, like, barely said anything, Bianca, so I'm gonna talk to you again. What's up? I'm selling some of my things. No, I don't want your heart. That used to be mine, and you bought it from freaking retail. No, I still don't want it. Sorry. Aw. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't need your crap. Fireworks show is tomorrow. Wow. Exciting. Alright, I was trying to get, like, the money rock for the day. 
failed. I probably shouldn't run around this time of night with my net out either. That's also asking for trouble. But at least we got a new bug for the museum. Okay, let's check this rock. I have like three rocks in a diagonal line. They're all right in a row right here. Like this is the top one. There's another one down and to the right and then a third one down and to the right. So like right here and then right here. It's pretty funny. Sahara, there you are. Why don't we go get a makeover for our house? I always like to see what carpet and wallpaper she brings me. It's usually a waste though. It's kind of unfortunate. Run, run, run! Through all the trees! Okay, cool. Well, hopefully she brings us something good. We've contributed like nothing to our froggo room as of late. I got the wallpaper yesterday, the Lottie wallpaper so that we can have more of a party going on upstairs. And I'm gonna start working on that. There's the, what is it, the sloppy furniture or something like that, I think would be really good for upstairs. But I haven't seen any of it for sale. And it doesn't seem like it pops up very often either, so I don't know, just something to consider. All right, we're gonna wait outside to see what you do, Sahara. I want to say that I really appreciate everybody's feedback um, these past couple episodes as well just because I've asked you know what should I do about the project like what do you guys want to see and I just want to give out a thank you to everybody who's contributed any feedback whatsoever because it's always appreciated. So let's go inside and see what she did. Hopefully she did something fairly pleasant but it just depends on our luck okay oh my goodness it's like maze flooring with a really boring wall Sahara I don't know where you get your inspiration from but I'm not gonna lie it kind of sucks kind of sucks not a fan <laughs> Although the maze flooring, I think, is unique to Sahara. I don't think you can buy that. So, I mean, if you were really wanting maze-looking flooring, that would be great. But for us, not so much. Okay, is anybody home down here? Nope. There's Barbara. We don't have a super huge amount of time for her to be home. Okay, I'm not looking forward to it, but I really do need to start packing. Um, good luck! Okay. So, if you do sell- Ah, if you do sell someone- No, never sell anybody, but if you do tell someone to move, they will question it if you talk to them again. So if you, like, really regret your decision, you do get a second chance sometimes. So make sure you talk to them a lot if you, like, decide, Oh, I really don't want that person to move anymore. Because sometimes that happens. Alright, I want to chat. Um, yeah, I want to dig a hole for no reason. You guessed it. See, I did it. What are you going to do now? Hmm? Um, you literally just watched me dig that hole. Why? Why are you asking me this? Why do you want me to look up at the sky? I don't know. Igly's a weirdo. He's a big Iggly and a big weird- oh shoot, I didn't mean to shovel your butt. Hi madam, have I seen the sky- why are you guys asking me about the sky so much? Let's chat. Ooh, the other night Mar from Jazinkyo, Z or Jazinkyo, Jizen I'm guessing, showed up in my dream. Shout out to Mar, getting it, Rodeo is saying hi to you, big shout. Seriously, that makes me so happy when they give shout outs to people who have dreamt of Big Pimp. It just like really makes my heart happy. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't. Is it 8 o'clock yet? Almost. Okay. Well, we'll go in here for the last like two minutes that the store's open and then I'll just close out the episode directly with a KK song. I won't even have to cut to it this time. Tammy's in here anyway. Oh, we get the like closing, so get the F out music. Oh my gosh, crazy meeting you here. What's the latest? 
First, I'm gonna check the sales items. There aren't any sales items in here. You're full of lies. This music, though. <laughs> oh, it's so like, we want you to leave. All right, bye, Timmy. Thanks for kicking us out. I mean, I really appreciate it. I love getting kicked out of places. All right, let's see if there are any cool outfits. Show me your clothes. Show me your clothes. What, Barbara? You were just down in the middle of town. You're already up here? Wow, very green and blue today. I think we have those jeans already and just not really interested in any of the shirts. Same goes for here. No. I mean, I don't think we have this shade of glasses, though. The mint glasses? I don't think we have these. Let's um try them on. See how they- Oh, they look cute with our outfit! Um, yeah, let's keep them on. Alright, legit. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, and let's go to... Gola Gola Island. Not really. Let's go to see what KK's got for us today. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Love running around town with the shovel, by the way. It's pretty cool. I think tomorrow I'll just show off our museum and the progress we've made with it because then I'll have gotten more fossils tonight and I won't be worried about it, so we can do that tomorrow. You know it! Okay, taking requests. Oh, do I want to request a song? I think I'm just gonna let him pick. I'll let you pick. Ooh. Alright, here we go. Let's go to the far right this time. Here we go. Ooh, this is a good one. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for tonight's episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf. I hope you enjoyed KK Adventure. That's actually one of my favorites, so I'm really happy he chose that because now we have it to play in our house. And I think it's a pretty cool song. So anyway, I will see you pimps tomorrow for more of Big Pimp. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. This has been Madame Wario. Peace out, pimps. <laughs>